The focal point of today's Earth Day activities in Miami was the Dead Orange Parade organized by the new party. The satirical takeoff on Miami's famous Orange Bowl Parade was supposed to point out the different points of pollution in Dade County. Bob Koontz, chairman of the new party in Dade County, had these comments on the parade itself. I think that uh, we have spoken to the man in the street and the housewife and the worker and uh, this is very important Un unlike a regular teaching which uh, at the university for example which is very intellectual and you know basically relates to the person who already cares these people want to care also and I think what we've done is sort of exposed a lot of the problems we have in our city whether it's the uh, Miami Beach Ocean outfall or the fact we picked up a ton of garbage underneath one of our expressways on 17th Avenue 36th Street I think the people in this county want to know that in spite of the fact that we are the cleanest city in the country we still have a lot of pollution problems and it's getting worse the Dead Orange Parade began at Biscayne Boulevard and Flagler Street and ended up on the steps of the Dade County Courthouse. People here have listened to a rock band play and now they're listening to speeches while observers evaluate today's efforts to illustrate the pollution problems in Dade County. But while attention was riveted on downtown, other Earth Day activities were underway around the county. What was uh, today's Dead Orange Parade supposed to symbolize? Well, I think uh, the first thing it was that the uh, new party gave uh, any and uh, every group an opportunity to come out and say what it wanted to say about pollution, whatever it thought pollution was. I think this was tremendous. Uh, it certainly formed a new type of grassroots uh, coalition that I think uh, uh, Miami can be proud of as far as talking about the issue of pollution and uh, taking action instead of uh, you know just doing lip service. What do you feel all this has accomplished? Um, I think it's brought people, they're looking, they're realizing what's going on, and they might do something about it, I hope. Do you feel as though all this is a reaction to publicity that's been uh, blasted across the nation, or do you feel as though this is the way the students really feel about the pollution problem? Well, I think this is the way the students uh, really feel about the pollution problem. Of course, you're going to attract some people by, by the publicity, but by and large, I think Everybody's, everybody's beginning to realize that, um, that there is a great, great problem and that uh, somebody better start doing something about it before it's too late. And the students, I think, realize it before, uh, have realized this before any other segment of the population. This is going to take a political movement comparable in, in, in scope with uh, other movements in American history, like, like the, the movement for free... Uh, what it was, free silver or something like that. It's going to be a real, real big political move, probably bigger than any other political move we've ever seen in this country. Do you feel as though time is a major factor? Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely. Uh, different figures are quoted, but it's, the time is limited, very definitely. Was it a coincidence that Lennon's birthday happened to fall on Earth Day? What do you think was the re had the re uh, reporter had in mind? I don't know. I think perhaps we were joking about uh, marching on Lenin's birthday, and I think I was misunderstood. Uh, that's the only way I can figure that such a big deal was made out of it, because it, it had nothing to do with our actual preparation for Earth Day and National Environmental Awareness Week. Did the reporter understand that this was a joke? Apparently, she didn't. In case you haven't heard, today's Earth Day. There are demonstrations and festivities going on all over the nation in various educational institutions. But what does the average John Q. citizen do during Earth Day? What are you doing for Earth Day? Well, today, uh, my car is in the shop being repaired. I think car pollution is the main problem, and uh, I think they should hurry up and uh, get cars that are not gas-powered. Well, not too much, I guess, as far as the day is concerned. Of course, I'm interested in, pollution, in the pollution problem, and 
I try to keep things clean around my place. I've been doing some cleaning up around the yard today is about all. Nothing. I'm not doing anything. I didn't know about it until just this afternoon. I think most of your people are a little bit hesitant to do anything, even anything worthwhile, because there's too many of these uh, demonstrations that turn into something else other than a worthwhile cause. They just get out of hand, and you've got a lot of people involved in it that don't care about anything. I, myself, haven't just had enough time to participate like I'd like to, going to college and, and working all the time, too. But I agree with them, and if there's some way that I can help and somebody comes to me with it, I'll be glad to do it. Well, I can't really say that I'm doing too much, really. Uh, I don't know what to do, really. What are you doing for Earth Day? Why are you here? I am here to become aware of the problem confronting the uh, American people and the people of the world and to try and make my friends and my parents and the people that I know become aware of the problem so that something can be definitely done about it. And the reason I'm involved in this is that essentially the earth is only so big you've got just so much land, air and water and every year we keep adding people to this. That means every year somebody's got less and less and less. And a few people are taking more and more every year. The thing is either we start redistributing it more equitably or else um, we're going to uh, run out. Well, the reason I'm here is to find out what I can do to stop pollution and then to, just to pass it on to others from what I've learned. What main issue you were most opposed to? Water pollution and uh, the population. Through what means? Well, I mean, like the way uh, they uh, like dump the waste into the water. And uh, it's going to hurt us. And with the population, the more and more people, the more and more uh, pollution we have. And it's just... If we can just uh, hold on the, pl on the uh, population, then we can kind of control it. What are you personally going to do to try and stop it? Have two kids, and that's all. <laughs>